I'm Riley Robin, and today I'm gonna take over my dad's channel. We're gonna go camping in Ghost. Let's go flying. Boom! Hey dad, where are we going? Well, I thought we'd go to either Cedar Mountain or Mexican Mountain. So they're pretty close to each other. If you look on the map, Cedar Mountain is down here. So we're gonna fly over these hills here, and then Cedar Mountain is on top of this mountain right here. So see where it says Cedar Mountain? Yeah. I'll even zoom in, you'll see the runway. See the runway right there? Oh, That's yeah. where we're gonna land. Or if you wanna go lower altitude, Mexican Mountain's not much further, it is right here in this wash. And so see, Mexican Mountain's got a little red rock and then Cedar Mountain's beautiful because it's up on a hill. Which one do you want to go to? Well, Trump's probably already built a wall around Mexican Mountain. So, <laughs> <laughs> so let's head over to Cedar Mountain. <laughs> Okay, so just landed like 10 seconds ago, or at least a few minutes ago. Just checking out this beautiful view. Like, look at it. You can pretty much see forever. Dad. It's right below me, though. That is awesome. Um, so basically, Right now, I'm going to be heading somewhere in that direction because I'm going to go check out the big satellite tower. Just explore the campsite a bit. Alright, see ya. Love you. Alright, I'll be back when I get there. See ya. So, just figured something out. Uh, that's actually pretty far away. Uh, it's gonna take me quite a bit to get over there, and I've only gone this in like two minutes. I wonder if there's any bears. The only thing I'm afraid of. 
Or Slenderman. Just found a pretty big stick. Sticks can be useful. Life lessons with Riley. <laughs> First time ever being in the wilderness alone. Checking this out. I swear I heard something. There's something behind me too. I hear clicking. Dad's probably coming. I swear I heard so I can seriously hear my dad though. Hold on. I think he's not recording. Alright, there we go. I think I just found the problem. It just turns off the screen. Seriously, calm down. <laughs> or he might be following the trail. I don't know. Still got my stick. Never know when it'll come in handy. <gasps> Is that? Is that an antler? Dude. Ah, oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Oh, it's just a weird looking stick. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can even see this. Look at it. It's right there. Oh, the stick looks a lot like an antler. I should have stayed on the trail. But instead, decided to take a little shortcut. I swear I keep hearing just my mind playing tricks on me. As you can tell, pretty much there. The sun's pretty blinding. I don't know if you saw that or not. Let's go check this thing out. Hey, look. I don't know if you guys can see that all the way over there. But there's my dad. Check this out. No trespassing. It's Emery now. Last I checked, we were in Utah. Well, won't go in there, obviously. Is that a satellite? Oh crap, that's a huge satellite. Whoa, slip there. All right, well, I'm gonna start heading back. Turns out, hardly anything at these things. Well, see you guys when I get back to this campsite. Okay, about, in, about just heading back to camp after my experience, and I heard somebody whistling behind me. Trying to block out the sun. I swear I heard somebody whistling. It came from like over. Yeah, there was again. I freaking hear it. I swear I hear something. It sounds like whistling. It's like a. For the first time I heard it, it was like. It's getting closer. Now it's over there. It's like all over there. Dude, it's like so close. Now there's one over there. There's so many. 
This is weird. Oh, what is the birds? I'm an idiot. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Hundred percent heard something from that bush right there. Coming up on my dad's camp now. Well, there he is, sitting there. Dude, this is an epic campsite. I'm gonna head back to camp, go eat dinner, and then, yeah, see you guys after that. Hey Riley, what are you doing? I want to land it. What are you learning how to do? Fly a drone. Oh, battery warning. Okay, um. so click the land button. Oh. It's returning to home and landing. Check it out. How many times have you thrown, flown a drone before? You're acting like a pro here. Uh, twice. You ever flown a professional cinema drone like this one? No. <laughs> it's not really a professional cinema drone. Uh oh, it's at 15%. Go down. Go down. Just leave it alone, it'll do it. It's way up there. Hopefully it doesn't <laughs> land on us. Watch it. You be prepared to abort it. Looks like it's going to land right on us. It should be landing on that rock over there off your right. It looks good. Looks like it's coming down perfect. Uh-oh. 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 We can land it now. Yep, keep doing it. Keep going back a little bit. It's going to land right on that weed. Oh. <laughs> you did it. Well, at least I did it. How do you feel now? <laughs> Better that now we can charge it. Let's forget about the video. Are you having fun camping? Yes. How was the flight over? What was the funnest part? Uh, I think the funnest part was actually the bumps because of the wind. You like that? And when you like turn sideways and kind of kind of like that. For the record, Riley started the fire both times. Good job. Do you have a message for anybody that like dads like me that have kids that have not taken them flying yet? Take your kids flying. What's your favorite thing about flying? Just the thrill of being super high and having no roads to follow. No roads to follow, that's the key. That is pretty cool. That's one of the reasons why I actually really love it. You can just go, you know, even though you're in a slow cub, you're still twice as fast as any car easily, sometimes three times as fast as any car. Listen to those crickets. It's a lot of them. In the campfire. This is awesome. <laughs> Can you hear that airplane? Yeah, it's about somewhere over there. It's an airliner. Oh, I can see it. There's four of them. Do you think you ever might be interested in becoming a pilot when you get older? How old are you? I mean, I know how old you are, but I'm saying that for the benefit of the viewers. Well, I'm almost 12, but I am 11. You're 11 years old. You know how old I was when I started flying? How old? When I, when I started taking lessons? How old? 16. It's really young. Yeah, so you're 
five years away. Less than five years away from you potentially learning how to fly an airplane. And I could be your flight instructor. Do you no. think you'd ever want to become a pilot? I might. I'll do it if your YouTube channel by then reaches 100k viewers. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> That's all I gotta do? 100k. Okay guys, you really have to help me out here. Share the crap out of my channel, please. Subscribe so that my son will become a pilot. All I gotta do is get to 100,000. That's actually pretty hard. I know. It's hard to get to 100,000. But I'm gonna work my butt off to get to 100,000 subscribers. Cool. And if I get 100,000 subscribers, you'll become a pilot and you'll let me be your instructor. Okay, fine. Let's shake But on. you have to do it by the time I turn 16. Oh, I can, I can become an instructor in a few months. It's no big deal. Well, no, well, you have to reach 100K by the time I turn 16. So I have five years to get to 100,000. Yes. You heard it, guys. I have five years to get to 100,000 subscribers. I can't do it alone. I'm going to really bust my butt and create some fantastic content, what I think is fantastic, which is really what I do. The type of videos that I enjoy watching are hopefully the type of videos I create. So that'll be the end of our campfire discussion. Yes. Let's go to bed and we will see you guys at sunrise. We're going to go check out tomorrow. What are we doing tomorrow? Check that How out. about we fly the airplane down into Mexican Mountain and go look at some ancient Fremont Indian petroglyphs. Right. Love you, buddy. See you guys tomorrow. I'm kind of tired, actually. Peace out. This is fun. Thank you.